Hey, I'm Lane Lindstrom. I'm with the editor of Snow West Magazine. I'm out here in Montana with Jared. Hi there, Jared Smith, Snowmobile Product Manager for North American Snowmobile Division with Yamaha. So, Yamaha has some uh, exciting news for 2021. Um, why don't you tell them instead of me? What do we got going for us guys? Yeah, we're excited, especially for you on the Snow West team. Um, we're back in the mountains this year. With the departure of our Sidewinder MTX a couple years ago from the mountains, we were anticipating this and what we're doing now is we're coming back to the mountains with a Mountain Max. It's a two stroke with a single beam rear suspension. So very innovative technology for the mountain side, but getting that lightweight two stroke, we weren't as competitive as we wanted to be with the four stroke and the Sidewinder MTX. Our customers were asking for a two stroke we worked with our supply agreement and our partners to bring you a snowmobile that we feel is very, very relevant to the marketplace, but also that lightweight mountain performance that we're looking for out of the vehicle. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of things. First, there's actually three two-strokes for the mountains. They're the Venom, the uh, 154, Four, yep. Four, and 165. Okay, yep. so we have three models. Um, we've ridden them already this week. They worked great. Uh, so. Tell us the thinking behind bringing the Mountain Max name back. Well, we had a strong history with Mountain Max, and we have really devout following with regards to Mountain Max. And when Mountain Max was out, it was a two-stroke. So we felt it was fitting to bring back that name. It has some um, good understanding. And also, when we're targeting this vehicle, that all-blue Yamaha feeling really encompasses how that Mountain Max was back then. So two-stroke, strong following, and also the way that it looks. We felt always um, something that we could bring to the market with Mountain Max, and it was fitting for the vehicle. Okay, so just as a disclaimer, disclaimer, this is not the Mountain Max. We know that. Uh, the Mountain Max went out with another group today, so we're out here riding some other vehicles. But So the Mountain Max uh, does have a good following. When I first heard about that um, during one of their presentations earlier this year, I told them I thought that was a, a good move to bring Mountain Max back because it has such a positive name, a lot of uh, fond memories from people who've ridden it over the years. Um, so, so features are, has a two stroke 800. Correct. Yep. Okay. EFI, it has the single beam rear suspension. Uh, who, what skis do you have on that? So we are running our Yamaha mountain skis. So with the vehicle, we're running our Yamaha mountain skis on the front and we're also calibrating the vehicle for our skis. So suspension changes, different tweaks to make the vehicle handle the best that it can with those front skis. Okay. Um, it has, what else? It has a... So the 165 is a 3 inch and the 154 mm. is a 2.6. Um, it's going to run QS3 front and rear suspension, so coilovers all the way around. Okay. And also all of our models will be standard with electric start, including the SX Venom Mountain all the way up to the 165. Oh, oh and that was a nice touch, by the way, the last couple of days when we rode those. What are the, what are the highlights? Um, spring only? Spring only. So the Mountain Max 800 models are spring only. Um, the SX Venom Mountain will be available in season, but it's a very limited production run. So there is potential that we could run out with spring order deposits only. So if you're looking for an SX Venom Mountain, we'd encourage you to put your order in and make sure you guarantee one of those units. Okay, so this might be an obvious question, but why would I look at a Mountain Max this year? So for us, we're looking for something that um, encompasses the Yamaha brand, has that innovative technology, but also time to market. We were really looking to bring something to market without taking too much time and wanting to remain competitive in the landscape. So utilizing our supply agreement, we could bring this to the market. Um, we think we have a really strong dealer network. Our dealers are very educated and we have some great Western dealers that are looking for this vehicle for the last few years. So with our overall Yamaha brand encompassing that more premium feeling in the vehicle, as well as our dealer support network, we feel there's some really good deliverables on the Mountain Max side. Okay. So, any other final thoughts about the mountain lineup from Yamaha for 2021? No, we're excited to be back in the mountain lineup. For us, we're primarily two-stroke two stroke on the mountain side as well as the utility side. And we've had utility two-strokes for a while. So, when certain applications call for a vehicle like a two-stroke, we're now adapting to that. And we're bringing some two-strokes to the market. Our trail side is still primarily four-stroke with our Sidewinder and Viper line. Okay, like this. Similar to the S-Rex right here. Yeah. And we're doing well with that. We're happy with the Sidewinder success and that top performance. Mm -hmm. This is the fastest production snowmobile in 2021, but there's no competition with regards to this vehicle for that top end performance. Right. So we're really looking now to just widen up our market, hitting markets that we weren't in previously and giving customers the options as well as dealers the options of what they can sell through. Okay, so it's probably no real big secret that uh, three years ago Yamaha came to the to the snowmobile media and said, you know what, we got to figure things out. We got to make, we got to be competitive. So they, they, they made a point that they wanted to stay competitive, but to do so, they had to trim their model lineup. 
So you went down to 16 models? Yep, right around there, 15 models or so. Yep. Yep. And then uh, last year they bumped that up a little bit, and now you're to 20 this year. Is yep. that right? Yep. 20 models. So they're coming back. Uh, they're making their presence known in the West. Uh, again, uh, the Mountain Maxes are spring only, and that ends on April... Yep, near the end of April it ends. Yep. Okay. All right, any other final thoughts? No, it's just um, we've rounded up our lineup, like you said. We really see the success now of our inventory correction in 2019 model year. We wanted to get that those non-currents through so we can be a more current company, which is important. And then we can bring you more vehicles like the Mountain Max, the SX Venom. And we really feel like that SX Venom is changing some things in the industry where we're getting that more price point model, but really good deliverables, electronic fuel injection, power valve, liquid cooling full suspension. So with that, now you're starting to see us expand. We, we went back down and we, now we're focusing on the key areas that we see the market moving yep. and we're going to be more fluid. We're going to make more changes and we're going to follow the market more instead of trying to just make a kind of a, a blocked lineup and this yep. is what we're offering. We're going to see where market trends go and we're going to try and hit those trends and just be a little bit more maneuverable as a company. Well, and the mountain market is fairly uh, strong. Correct. Yep. Uh, we usually always have snow. Um, so it is a good market for snowmobile companies. So it's good to see Yamaha back. Yeah, we're so, happy to be back. Yeah, thanks.